In the wake of the CARES Act, there were a lot of concerns that with so much money going out the door and with the Trump administration being the ones who are gonna be divvying it out, there's probably going to be some corruption. There's probably gonna be some organizations that are getting the money that don't deserve it. And ever since then, what do you know? There's been a lot of good reporting about the sorts of companies that were actually getting that money. Well, now you can add another group to that, and that is debt collectors and payday lenders. Some of whom have faced tons of complaints, have had to pay large fines for the way they've mistreated and broken the law in terms of their relationships with their customers. They were able to cash in quite a bit. Uh, there were more than 1,800 loans that went to debt collectors and high interest lenders through the Paycheck Protection Program. In all, the aid to these businesses amounted to more than $580 million. More than 170 of those recipients have been the subject of a multitude of complaints, each racking up at least 100 with the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. 25 have been subject to legal enforcement or consumer alerts, many by the CFPB and the Federal Trade Commission. As just one example, one, the National Credit Adjusters, a Kansas firm that provides debt collection services, received $1.5 million. Back in July of 2018, the company agreed to pay a $500,000 civil penalty to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau after the federal agency found it had used a network of companies that engaged in frequent unlawful debt collection acts. The companies told consumers they owed more than they were legally required to pay and threatened them and their families with lawsuits and arrests. So they paid that fine. Then they buy their time and they're able to collect a bunch of money that in theory they might not even have to pay back. And there's a lot of other examples like that. And the Washington Post has some great details. But what do you guys think? I mean, what can you say? Just the scummiest, you know? I mean, this is like the worst crisis since the Great Depression. What do you do? You're just kicking people in the teeth. It's I don't I don't even know what to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, this is. Man, this is like peak America. Like this is this is in reality the American dream. It's where companies that their entire business operation is just to be a parasite on society, to just suck the life out of whatever's left. This husk that we've just hollowed out to just shovel money to the billionaire class and the ruling class. Whatever's left is just these 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 leeches. Just glomming on to to people who are struggling. People are struggling to make ends meet. That's who really yeah. uh, uses uh, payday lenders, and they are subject to extremely high and disproportionate APRs. They're subject to variable APRs and all these different parasitic and predatory lending practices, and just further buries them in debt just because they need to pay rent or pay groceries. These are the people who need help the most. The people who rely on payday lenders is just just to get by. Um, and get no help from the government when it comes down to it. It's oh, here's uh, 1200 bucks, make it last mm-hmm. eight months. How is that supposed to work? What are they supposed to do? No debt forgiveness for, for people who are behind on their rent, no, no jubilee for the debt that's been racked up during this entire period. Oh, But the people who are burying you in private debt, yeah, yeah, we'll help them. It's, it's yeah. just that is, that is the American capitalist system in work. Yeah, and, and you know we were lucky enough that in some places, thanks to pressure, you know both uh, both uh, eviction um, and foreclosure moratoriums happened. Uh, those lapsed in a lot of areas, uh, but but unless there is forgiveness, all it is is putting off the date that many Americans will eventually lose the place they live. And it seems like I understand people work at some of these places. Some of them are just regular good people. The idea that we have to make sure that the debt collectors are ready to go as soon as those moratoriums fall. I, I agree with you. It just feels like ultimate America. Like we have to make sure that the predators are waiting when the protections finally end. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.